Hello everyone, this is Uno, this is a unit that I just finished up, it's completed, um, you can see where I mounted that little board, and the main board, it is hard to see in this picture but let's see if I can get in here. Let this focus up. And it's not going to focus up there. Well, this bar, this brass bolt, where it goes on to the MOSFET has the MOSFET has a long tang that comes up. I've drilled holes in this for them to go up into here and here, and so this also fits down in the hole. My uh, diode. Um, you. Uh, can't see it because this thing doesn't want to focus very good for some reason. So, and then when I tighten these nuts up on each on those, it will make a good connection. So what I'm going to do now is this is just bolted down on my standoffs that I drilled. All the wires come out and circle this way. My two gate wires said they have to be equal lengths, so I determined what I needed, stretched them out equally, and cut them off equally, going to my gates. Underneath this is a jumper for my R12. It's just a, a larger piece of wire that I've soldered on. My R12 sits right here. Down in here, you can see it right over here, circles around comes back underneath and goes right to here. This is the negative, frame ground negative. I haven't finished this up. This gets insulated, so for those that notice that it's not insulated, it will be. I just got this loosely put together. My fan wires, black and uh, red. My power in right here. You can see this red goes right over here to this little jumper on the board that is regulated 10 volts from the regulator so you want to pick that up that's where I soldered it on there and then naturally the black goes to the ground terminal on the regular zero board power in comes from here this is your key power solenoid power to power up this unit your negative and positive. This would be the cell in right here and this would be this grounding of the, the cell out. Okay this I can get this up here so you can see it are my connections. I leave the wire is long enough that I can get in here and do this. So, very explanatory where they go. Said we, we removed that one jumper that was in here, and that will be this white wire and this purple wire. The green wire will go on up here to another connection right next to it which for the life of me I don't know what it is <laughs> when you're black and you're red here's your power and your ground now you can hook these up anywhere you just have to trace them out where they go but uh, that's where they go here's my which one is that oh that is my sensing wire for R12 
and the other R12 connection is down here. So there you usually see these coming in on top up here. There'll be one here in your gate leads. Well, like I said, the gate lead now goes feeds this driver board and that connects right here, the green wire. So um, this green wire is your gate lead. So it's very simple. Um, you will need to have one of these. Let me get back back out here. And I'll turn it upside down. I didn't notice this until I looked at the video that everything I look at is upside down for you because we have camera oriented. You will need one of these to know where you're going to make your connections at. And uh, U1 being the op amp in, in the instructions. The jumper that will remove. Your 12 volt and your ground. This is there are 12 connections here on this diagram. You actually only need the positive one, if I remember right, right here. And then to ground, which this one does go to ground. So, <clears throat> there you have it. But you do need one of these so you know where to hook up. Said so there's this little jumper right here. This is where I picked up my uh, regulated voltage for my fan. goes over to the regulator. This is 12N. This is negative here, ground. And this is 10 volt regulated power. So I just jumpered off this. And then took my ground right to the ground terminal. So. The, the R9 is one that you will remove and tie into this lead right here for your gate that goes over to the driver board so I'm leaving this up a little bit so you can get a good look at it uh, you know what's going on so you, you can uh, use this if you have to you're gonna blow it up so very very simple to do not hard at all in a day's time you can have it done now, I got all this done. I always, like I said, leave my wires a little more looped. So it gives me a little room to pull things apart and work on it. Uh, I did not trim any of the wires off this. I used them. They're looped underneath. This is what I did for my caps. These are the two terminals I go to. So I'm just going to leave them right there like that. And uh, I'll put a little bead of silicone on them to hold them. And now they'll get a little cooling effect in the fan. Uh, so like I said, I like running these outside. I don't like them inside. I've had them blow up and it gets a little messy and what have you. You just had a lot of cleanup. You don't need it. Naturally, you have to insulate some of these so they don't ground out against the box because that's a negative now. The box is a negative. So, right now I have powered it up and the fan works. That's all I know right now because I didn't have the rest of this on and what have you. So, some preliminary testing. So, there you go. There is a Zero clone that has been upgraded with the driver board. I hope I have it all wired right. I'll know when I get it, finish it completely up and then run a bench test on it. Uh, so makes a nice little unit now. Like I said this will be a real true square wave CCPWM. MOSFETs will run much cooler. I wish I had two new MOSFETs because I would do my attachment a little bit different. But this one had the uh, terminals trimmed off the MOSFETs for my R12 connection so I only had a little stub. I would probably do something similar to this for that connection too. 
and I've always felt I wanted to run a R12 externally so I can change that dimension if I wish which would uh, make it more user friendly if they wanted to do some you know experimenting with different amperages that you need to change R12 to do with so uh, there you have it I hope this has been helpful uh, I will have one more video showing the operation of this uh, so uh, stay tuned We'll finish this up and I'll uh, post it. You all have a good day. This is Uno out.